What's going on, guys? WrestleManiac, aka Blu ray Maniac, 1130. Listen here, we're going to get right into it because I've tried this video four times and the files are always too large. So we're going to get through it quicker. Okay, this is my complete Blu ray collection. Last year, I uploaded my first one on 427 2013. This is a year later. A lot of you know I've diminished my Blu rays and I've rebuilt them completely and even better than before. So we're without further ado, we're going to get right into it. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these. Just kind of, kind of get through them. Excuse my dog. He's a retard. Okay, if you hear him barking. We're going to get right into it. Before I do anything, huge shout out to my homeboy, Minus the Beard, Steve. Incredible channel, incredible dude. Uh, if you haven't checked his channel out, do so below. Um, just a great channel, and he needs way more subs than he's got. So do me a favor, before you even start watching this long video, subscribe to his channel. Shout out to you, brother. Now let's get right into it. We're going to go first to the Disney and animated, then the regular movies, then we're going to finish with the wrestling. You ready? Lego, baby. Woo! Avengers. This is the combo, 3D combo pack with the lenticular slip. Awesome movie. Brave combo pack. This is the collector's edition with the slip. The Diamond Edition combo pack with the slip of Cinderella. It's glad to pick that one up uh, before it goes back in the vault. Got Despicable Me 3D Edition with that lenticular slip there. Hilarious movie. Finally checked this that one and this one out. Despicable Me 2 combo pack with the slip. Steve Carell is just awesome. Those are great movies. Another great, I consider this like a throwback Disney film. Frozen. Um, Collector's Edition with the slip cover. Really enjoyed that one. Four disc combo pack of The Incredibles with the slippity dude eye there, baby. One of the best Pixar movies they've ever done. John Carter, two uh, combo pack with the slip cover. I haven't watched this yet. Heard mixed reviews, but I'm trying to get all the Disney stuff. Another great one right here, guys. Jungle Book. This is the Diamond Edition. This, this looks incredible on Blu-ray. They did an awesome job with it. Little Mermaid Diamond Edition. Love this slipcover as opposed to that gold one. Um, just one of the one of the better classic Disney films. And then to com to get to add another commitment, I did the two pack uh, Ariel's Beginnings and Little Mermaid two with the slipcover. Haven't checked that out yet. I just figured I'd get all of them. Got the Lone Ranger. Um, I like this one, man. A lot of people didn't like it, but I thought it was good. Look at old uh, weirdo Johnny Depp there. Got this with my Disney Movie Rewards for free. Meet the Robinsons. Haven't checked it out yet, but I heard it's good. Then got the 3D Combo Pack Collector's Edition of Monsters, Inc. And was finally able to pull a slippity doo dot at Walmart and get that slip cover. Yeah, buddy. Got Monsters uh, University Combo Pack with the slip cover. I need to get the 3D edition of that. Such a great movie. Both of those were. Another one that I really enjoyed, Planes with the slip cover. Hopefully they'll make a sequel to that. We got Ratatouille, one of my favorite Pixar films right here guys. Maybe because I'm big and I like food. Who knows, you know, but either way it's a good movie. Moving along, Sorcerer's Apprentice combo pack with the slip cover. Got this as a free one at buybacks on a buy three get one. So I figured I'd scoop it. One I loved, Thor combo pack. I need to get the 3D version and I need the slip for that one. Such a good movie. As well as this one, Thor The Dark World. This is the Walmart exclusive combo pack with the slip cover. I love both of those. Another one I really enjoyed was Wreck It Ralph uh, combo pack with the slip cover. Love the whole video game references. I think it's really cool. We're going to go right into my Blu rays. Two Guns with the slip cover. A movie that nobody really likes that much, but I thought it was really good. We got 12 rounds with John Cena. 12 rounds to the uh, Reloaded with Randy Orton. Really enjoyed this one. This one was alright. Um, or I'm just not a big Orton fan when it comes to acting. I just think he's a little corny. But either way, whammy. 28 days later and 28 weeks later. Danny Boyle films. Love both of them. Of course, I'm partial to the first one. But 30 minutes or less. Hilarious movie. It's worth getting the Blu ray for the video commentary with all four of those guys. 
40 year old virgin all I'm going to say is her boobies felt like bags of sand oh Steve Carell's priceless 51st dates nice little rom-com aka romantic comedy for you blue tubers yep I'm just trying to sound cool just don't mind me 50-50 Joseph Gordon-Levitt Seth Rogen really enjoyed this one uh, make you cry and make you laugh. That's how you know you got your good film there. You know, it's about 300. Finally checked this out for the first time yesterday, and I was amazed. Um, just shot so awesome. Love that movie. And that's not what I need to go. I need to go this way. Mozzarella cheese, baby. Steven Seagal and Above the Law. Rhymed, rhymed, rhymed. Yep. Classic. I gotta get all the Steven Seagal movies before he got fat. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter combo pack with the Slippy. Really enjoy that one. You guys know that. However, I'll never watch the one when he's going against zombies. Why? Alien, the original with the slip cover. Got that for three bucks. And uh, Great Escape. I need to get the rest of them. Got Amazing Spider Man. Shout out to Kimberly for getting me the slip for that. This is the 3D edition. I need to get the 3D slip cover for it. I'm just not trying to push my luck at Walmart. Because I got caught with the Monsters, Inc. one. Nevertheless, whammy. American Beauty. Awesome movie. Kevin Spacey and Annette Benning. Got that really cool 100 years of movie memory slipcover. American Hustle. Another movie I really enjoyed. Seeing Christian Bell play an overweight wise guy. And Jennifer Lawrence and uh, Amy Adams are two of my favorite actresses right now. They look so good. Wow. All right. Moving along. Whammy. American Pie. Combo pack. Need the slip for this. I need to get the rest of the collector of the series. Um, yeah. Anchorman 1 and 2, Steelbook, Walmart exclusive. Anchorman's in my top five movies ever. And the second one was really good too. Really long though, like almost two and a half hours long, but still. Another one I'm really glad to have the Argo Declassified Extended Edition gift set. Um, got an unboxing of this on my channel if you want to see it in detail. But I just love that movie, especially the last 30 minutes. Bad Boys, awesome movie. Mike, uh, Mike Epps, Martin Lawrence, Will Smith with the slip cover there. And then we got the Batman Begins gift set. The Batman Begins still book with the interior artwork. Shut up, dog. Um, and got the Dark Knight with the slip cover. And the Dark Knight Rises with the lenticular slip. I need to get the still book for Dark Knight, and I want to get that digi book of Dark Knight Rises as well. Shout out to the visual expression. <sighs> Moving along, Whammy, Bernie, not Weekend at Bernie's, that's coming out in May. This is the Jack Black, Shirley MacLaine, Matthew McConaughey Bernie. Four bucks on eBay, I haven't checked it out yet, but I heard it was good. We got Big with the musical slipcover. You know what I mean? This is an awesome Tom Hanks film. Burbs, where you at on Blu-ray, damn it. Big Lebowski digibook. Love this movie. John Goodman's character in this movie is one of my favorite characters ever in film. Adam Sandler's greatest film yet, Billy Madison. Y'all already know how good that movie is. Another one that's a lot like Billy Madison, Blood Diamond. Just kidding. Great movie, though. DiCaprio, Jennifer Connelly, and Digimon. Dijon Musk, I don't know what how to pronounce his name, but he would whoop my butt, so I'm not going to make fun of him. Great movie. Another great movie, Blow, Johnny Depp, Penelope Cruz, and Pee Wee Herman. I mean, could you go wrong? And the used-to-be fat guy from Remember the Titans. <sighs> Blue Valentine, very uplifting film, just kidding. Even though Michelle Williams is in it, I love this movie. Um, I love Michelle Williams ever since her Dawson's Creek days. Take a breath. Boondock Saints, one of my top 20 movies of all time. The sequel's the worst movie ever, though. Norman Reedus, you're, not, you're, you're a beast. Broken City, a movie nobody ever talks about. A movie that nobody ever talks about. Mark Wahlberg, Russell Crowe. I loved it. Caddyshack, classic. When Chevy Chase was funny. Campaign, all I'm going to say on that one, that's a slipcover too. All I'm going to say on that one is the dinner table scene with the answer machine and it involves Denny's that's all I'm gonna say Captain Phillips awesome movie Tom Hanks showing why he's still one of the greatest Carlito's Way one of my favorite gangster films Sean Penn's Afro should have won an award Carrie really good remake with the lenticular slip there 
I became a big fan of Chloe Grace Moretz, actually. She's my favorite movie of all time, Casino. You all know how much I love that movie. It will never come out of the number one spot for me. Scorsese's my favorite director, too. Change Up with the Slip. Funny movie. Clerks. Eh. I just didn't really like Clerks. I think it's because that main guy. I just couldn't stand that main guy. Contraband. Combo Pack. Wahlberg's moved into my top ten actors. Uh, haven't checked that one out, though, yet. The Conjuring with the lenticular slip. One of the scariest movies in the last couple years, I will say. Crash. Love that film. Wish they put out a special edition with some bonus features, because that's bare bones. we got Crazies. Solid remake. Cowboys and... Uh, I was going to say Cowboys and Indians. Cowboys and Aliens combo pack. I need the slip cover for that, guys. Holly why You know what I mean? Outstanding film, Dallas Buyers Club. I've been a Matthew McConaughey fan since Ed TV came out back in the day, and everybody's always tried to hate on McConaughey, and they're finally giving him respect. Thank God. Dark Blue, my favorite cop film. Kurt Russell is a badass mf -er in that movie. Date Night. Need the lenticular slip for that. Funny movie, not like hilarious or anything, but it was still funny. One of my favorite action stars, Jason Statham, Death Race, still booked for six bucks. This movie wasn't all that great, but I'm going to get all Statham's films. He's one of my favorites. He looks like Cesaro, too, so that's a, a given. Departed, again, Scorsese, my favorite director of all time. Didn't disappoint with that movie. Another one of my favorite directors, Rob Zombie, uh, Devil's Rejects. Love that one more than a House of a Thousand Corpses, even though I still like that one. Die Hard, the 25th anniversary collection. This is all the Die Hards, but the last one, which I heard was terrible. It's Die Hard, Die Hard 2, Die Hard with a Vengeance, and Live Free or Die Hard. It was $12.99 at Best Buy. Can you imagine? You know, it's not... Slow down, Chad. I ain't got time to slow down. I gotta beat the clock here. Whammy, Django Unchained. Best Buy exclusive digipack. Absolutely love that movie. Need to get the Target exclusive steelbook again. Don John with the slip. Joseph Gordon-Levitt's directorial debut. Really enjoyed it. Scarlett Johansson, I love you. Donnie Brasco, my number three favorite gangster film of all time. Johnny Depp and Al Pacino. That's one of my favorite Al Pacino roles ever. Dread. This is the 3D regular combo pack with the slip. Ten bucks at Walmart. So worth it. The movie's so good. Another great movie, Drive. One of my favorite soundtracks ever to a movie. Ryan Gosling is a beast. Due Date, hilarious. Zach Galifianakis is slowly moving up my top comedic actors list. One of my favorite movies of all time, Dumb and Dumber. Aspen, hmm, California, beautiful. All right, Eastbound and Down. This is the UK or this is the region free three, uh, seasons one, two, and three collector set. You got seasons one, seasons or season one, season two, season three. Got this for 30 bucks, brand new on eBay, and it plays in all players. Check it out, guys. Season 4 coming in June. Escape uh, Escape from L.A. Escape Plan. like this movie. Stallone, Schwarzenegger, two of my favorite action stars, even though they're both in their 60s, 70s, whatever. Still enjoyed it. Target exclusive still book of the Evil Dead remake. Love this edition. Love this movie. Hopefully they'll make a, an Evil Dead 2 remake. That'd be awesome. We got Evil Dead 2, the original. This is the 25th anniversary edition. Classic cheesy horror film. Got The Expendables, the extended director's cut. I need the slip for that. I love these movies. As well as Expendables 2 with the slip cover. Can't go wrong with all those action stars in one film. Executive Decision, Kurt Russell again. Classic. It's dirt cheap on eBay too. The Fighter. Mark Wahlberg, Christian Bale, and Amy Adams. Really enjoyed that one. Christian Bale can do pretty much whatever he wants in a movie. He can play anything. Five Year Engagement with the slipcover. Pretty funny movie. Not hilarious or anything, but it was it was funny. A hilarious movie, though. Jason Segel as, as well. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. I love Mila Kunis, too. My favorite character in that movie is Jonah Hill, though. He's hilarious. Friday Night Lights. Awesome football film. If you want to win, put Booby in. Friday the 13th Killer Cut, really enjoyed this remake, however, I'm going to be upgrading my Friday the 13th collection very soon. Stay tuned, baby. Then we've got Friends Season 1 and Friends Season 2 on Blu-ray, one of my favorite sitcoms ever. I'm ready for the rest of them to come out. 
and I'm ready for Seinfeld on Blu-ray. Fruitvale Station, sad, sad, sad movie, but I loved it. Michael B. Jordan was awesome in it. Full Metal Jacket, great Stanley Kubrick film. Funny People, Judd Apatow uh, directed this one here. Leslie Mann is one of my favorite actresses ever. I think she's so beautiful, and she's hilarious. Judd Apatow, you were a lucky son of a gun. All righty. Gangs of New York, great Scorsese film. However, this isn't the remastered one. I'm going to have to swap that out eventually. Gangster Squad with the slip cover. Really enjoyed that one. Get Him to the Greek with the slip cover. Uh, Russell Brand, P. Diddy, and Jonah Hill. I thought this one was hilarious. P. Diddy was actually surprisingly hilarious in there. A movie that I suggest everybody go out and check out Gone Baby Gone, starring Casey Affleck, directed, directed, mm -hmm, directed by Ben Affleck. That's just a really good movie. My number two favorite movie, or my number three favorite movie ever, Goodfellas. This is the Digi Book. Love this edition. That movie's one. Of, it's my number three movie of all time. I mean, what else do I need to say? Goonies, baby. Woo! Love this movie. Hilarious. Chunk Truffle Shuffle. Gravity with the slipcover. Visually amazing. Um, I really enjoyed that movie too. Guilt Trip. Seth Rogen, Barbara Streisand. Yes, I own a Barbara Streisand movie, and I think she's attractive for an older woman. I don't know why. Shut up. Halloween, 35th anniversary digibook. Shut up, dog. Sorry, guys. This digibook could be way better, but still, $11.99. Can't beat that. And it looks great on Blu-ray. The Rob Zombie Halloween remake, two-disc version, with that four-and-a-half-hour documentary, which was really awesome. We got the Hangover Trilogy. got part one with the slip. Part two with the slip. Part three with the slip. Um, two was my least favorite, but it was still still a great great trilogy. Got Heat. My two favorite actors, Pacino and De Niro. Love it. I'm so sorry about the barking. Shut up! Heavyweights. Ben Stiller is hilarious. His character in this is basically the same character that's in Dodgeball. Then we got The Hobbit. Unexpected Journey, need the slip for that, and The Hobbit, Desolation of Smaug. Need to get those, uh, get set aside a day to watch those, I haven't watched them yet. Home Alone 2-pack, got Home Alone and Home Alone Lost in New York. The only two that you need, not all those crappy sequels. Horrible Bosses, love this movie, I need to get the Inappropriate Edition. Jennifer Aniston is amazing. Got Hostel 1 and Hostel 2, Director's Cuts. I don't suggest eating before, during, or after those movies. Hot Rod. The first time I ever saw Danny McBride and I just, he's been one of my, my number two com comedic actors since. He's just hilarious. We got the Hunger Games. Oh my God. Got the Hunger Games still books. Hunger Games 1 and Hunger Games Catching Fire. Awesome movies. And got uh, Hurricane with the gold slipcover. One of my favorite Denzel films. He's my number three favorite actor. Got I Love You Man. Classic comedy with Paul Rudd, Jason Segel. Slapa de bass. All right. If, you haven't, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Inception. Still, still don't understand this movie all the way, but it's really good. With that lenticular slip. Jackie Brown. Great Tarantino film. Looks great on Blu-ray. And I love... Look. Oh, my God. I love the soundtrack to that. Got Jack Reacher. Not a big Tom Cruise fan, but I love that movie. Thought it was really good. Jack the Giant Slayer. Visually looks amazing. I really wish I could have seen that in, in uh, 3D. Because I think that would have been awesome. Jeepers Creepers. Really, really good scary horror film. I need to get number two, so I'll probably just buy the combo pack and sell that one. Kick-Ass with the slip cover. Love that film. Still need to get the second one. Knocked Up, this classic Seth Rogen, man. Can't go wrong with that. Last House on the Left, the remake. That rape scene in the forest is just too painful to watch a second time. And it's got, but it, it's an awesome movie. And it's got uh, Aaron Paul in it. Uh, Last Stand with the slip. Brand new cheese there from uh, from Schwarzenegger. Uh, Lawless, Tom Hardy, one of my favorite roles ever in a movie. He's so awesome in that movie. 
License to Drive, classic 80s cheese, Corey Haim, Corey Feldman, and Heather Graham. Just hilarious. Life of Pa, Cartman Voice. Love this movie. Looks great on Blu-ray. Limitless, another one that looks great on Blu-ray. One that nobody ever really talks about. I love it. Lincoln Lawyer combo pack. I need the slip for that. Again, another great McConaughey movie. Looper with the slip. Shout out to Kim Kimberly again for getting me that slip cover. And then we got the uh, Lord of the Ring trilogy. Got uh, Fellowship of the Ring. Uh, Two Towers. Return of the King. Great, great movies. Got Lost Boys, my favorite vampire movie ever. Again, Corey Haim, Corey Feldman as the Frog Brothers. Man of Steel with the slip. Great movie, saw it in IMAX 3D. Memento, another good Christopher Nolan film that confused the hell out of me. Mrs. Doubtfire, Robin Williams as an old grandmother. Classic. Mud, my favorite movie of last year. Again, McConaughey showing he's an awesome actor. Need the slipcover for that. Natural Born Killers, the Digibook, and just the Natural Born Killers uncut version. For some reason, the Digibook edition wasn't the uncut version, so I had to buy them both. Love that movie. National Lampoon's Vacation, the best one. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, best Christmas movie ever. National Lampoon's European Vacation, my favorite Rusty was this Rusty. He was just hilarious. Nobody ever likes that one but me. And Vegas Vacation, I'm going to get. It was my least favorite, though. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, Michael Sarah and Kat Dennings, awesome. Nightmare on Elm Street, the complete seven film collection, 25 bucks at Best Buy, awesome. Nightmare on Elm Street, the remake with the lenticular slip, I enjoy that remake. No Country for Old Men, outstanding movie. Javier Bardem's character is one of my favorite villains in, ever in a movie. We got Nurse Jackie, season one. Season 2, Season 3, Season 4. Really enjoy that show. I'm going to get Season 5 when it goes down in price. Office, Season 6. I've got 1 through 5 on DVD. Still got to get the rest of them. Office Space, classic film. Old School, three words. We're going streaking. One Hour Photo with the slip cover. Again, shout out Minus the Beer for picking that up for me. Really enjoy that movie. Oranges, Hugh Laurie, a.k.a. Gregory House. Really like that one, too, guys, and I love that slipcover. Other guys, oh, gosh, so funny. Got my big boy pants on. Our Idiot Brother, another Paul Rudd classic starring his dog, uh, Willie Nelson. Out of Time, a Denzel movie that nobody ever talks about, but I love it. It's one of my favorite ones, and it's dirt cheap anywhere you go. Got Overboard, one of the greatest covers ever. Kurt Russell, Goldie Hawn. Can't go wrong with good old Dean Prophet. Pacific Rim with the lenticular slip. Love this movie, guys. Just love it. Pain and Gain with the slip cover. The Rock, uh, Mark Wahlberg. Really enjoy that one. Pineapple Express. Classic, classic. Seth Rogen, James Franco. My favorite scenes when he goes into James Franco's house and he's watching 227 randomly. Awesome. Place Beyond the Pines, one of my favorite movies of last year. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I miss you, John Candy, still to this day. Love this movie. I need the slip for it. Prisoners, another one of my top three movies of last year. Jake Gyllenhaal, Hugh Jackman. Public Enemies. Johnny Depp did a great job in that movie playing John Dillinger. Pulp Fiction, great still book. My favorite Tarantino film. Raging Bull, starring Robert De Niro. Another Scorsese classic. Rambo First Blood. Rambo First Blood Part 2. Going to be completing that soon, so stay tuned. Recruit, starring Pacino and Colin Farrell. Love that one. Nobody ever talks about it. Reservoir Dogs, another Tarantino film. Great one. My two favorite actors, Pacino and De Niro and Righteous Kill. Shout out Lisa6577 for giving me that for my birthday. I really enjoyed it. Robocop, 788 at Walmart, that's all I'm going to say. Classic. Rocky, the Undisputed, or the Heavyweight Collection, best $35 I've ever spent in my life. Loved all six of these movies. Role Models, 
It was pretty good. It wasn't great, but it was funny. Runner Runner with the slip cover. Justin Timberlake, Ben Affleck. Thought it was good. Another one I thought was good was Rush, directed by Ron Howard. With the slip. Uh, another one, Savages, with the slip cover. Oliver Stone. Really enjoyed that one. Another one that nobody ever talks about. Next up, we got the Saw collection. Got Saw 1, Saw 2, Saw 3, Saw 4, Saw 5, Saw 6, and Saw 7, the final chapter. That could have kept that movie to a trilogy, but I still liked all of them. Scarface, limited edition steelbook. Love this steelbook. Y'all know how great that movie is. Scenic Root, another one I really suggest y'all check out. Underrated film. Scream, five film sets. You got Scream 1, 2, and 3, and then the two documentaries. Still Screaming and Scream, the inside story. Still need to get Scream 4. Semi-Pro, Jackie Moon, baby. Will Ferrell at his finest. The UK still book of seven. Really enjoy this film. David Fincher directed it. Y'all know how good it is. Silver Linings Playbook with that awesome slip cover. David O. Russell, great movie. Sinister with the slipcover, another one that scared me. Scared the pants off of me, actually. Ethan Hawke, you don't get to see him in good movie a lot, so. We got Snatch, classic. Snitch with The Rock, another one of Rock's good movies. Rock just keeps putting out good films, guys. South Park, bigger, longer, uncut the movie with the slipcover. One of my favorite shows ever. Number two favorite movie of all time, Step Brothers. Why are you sweating? I'm watching Cops, okay? Stand By Me, 25th Anniversary Edition. Such a good movie. Super Bad, one of my favorite comedies of all time. I can never get tired of it. Ted, starring Mark Wahlberg and Peter Griffin um, as a teddy bear. I think that's why I like it so much, because I'm such a Peter Griffin fan. Talladega Nights. Ricky Bobby, it's almost say the kitchen table scene. Uh, Teen Wolf, classic 80s cheese. My favorite character in that movie is Michael J. Fox. No, it's not. It's Styles, Jerry Levine's character. Terminator, the remastered version, awesome. T2, Skynet edition, best action movie of all time. That's my boy, er, my bad. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the remake. Still got to get the other ones. Um, I love that remake, though. That's My Boy. Eh, it was all right. Not great. There Will Be Blood. That was a great movie. Daniel Day-Lewis. This is 40. Cla uh, really funny movie. I need the slip cover for that. My favorite scene is whenever she's in the bed with Paul Rudd, and she's trying to, like, be all mushy with him and talk about their relationship. And the whole time she's talking, he's just farting in the bed. It's just funny. This is the end with the slipcover. That first scene with Michael Sarah in the bathroom with the two chicks is just hilarious. Tommy Boy, Holy Schnikey Edition. Awesome. R.I.P. Chris Farley. Total Recall, Mind Bending Edition. Finally glad to pick up the good version of that. The Town, Extended Cut. Love that movie. Trick or Treat. Really good film for, for Halloween times. I'm going to be watching that on Halloween from now on. Uh, True Romance, Five Bucks, directed, uh, written by Quentin Tarantino, directed by Tony Scott. You should have that in your collection. Unforgiven Digibook, classic western, Clint Eastwood. Unstoppable with the slip, Denzel and Chris Pine. Reminds me a lot of Speed. Varsity Blues, classic football movie. However, James Vanderpeek disgraced the, so the southern people with his accent in that movie. Veep season one, she's my favorite actress of all time. Julia Louise Dreyfus, I want to marry her. In my mind, I've married her a hundred times. The Wackness, so glad Jordan Visual Expression suggested that movie for me. Wonderlust, starring Paul Rudd, Jennifer Aniston, funny film. War, Jet Li, Jason Statham, aka Cesaro, great action flick. Warrior, the so good. Tom Tom Hardy. Wayne's World, favorite Mike Myers film. Wedding Singer, starring Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. Awesome. Wolf of Wall Street, love the movie. The still book picture is really bad, though. 
I don't understand the, the I don't understand. So here we go. We're almost done, guys. Workaholic seasons one and two. My favorite show on television right now. And Workaholic season three. Can't wait for season four in June. X Men Part One. I'm gonna get the rest of them eventually. Your Highness, starring Danny McBride and uh, James Franco, so funny. Your Next, good thriller. I mean, kind of predictable, but Zach and Mary make a porno. Hilarious movie. Zombie Land, awesome, awesome, awesome movie. I just want a Twinkie, damn it. Remember going to my triple packs, trying to zoom through this, guys. I'm going to be getting all these individually just because my OCD's kicked in. Friday, Menace to Society and Set It Off. Three great movies. Demolition Man, Over the Top, and Tango and Cash. Again, I'm getting all these individually, eventually there. Rambo First Blood, Copland, and Lock Up. 788 men, guys, at Walmart. Fletch and Uncle Buck. I've already ordered these individually. Two great films. Seven, Copycat and Taking Lives. Three great movies. I got that for Copycat, though. I love that movie. Braveheart, Gladiator, and Saving Private Ryan, outstanding three-pack. Shout out to Visual Expression for that. And Collateral Damage and Eraser, great two-pack. Um, if this video cuts off on you guys, I apologize. I'm going to try to show you my wrestling stuff really quick. I apologize for the grabbing. Having to race to beat the clock here, guys. None of these are in order. I'm just going to show them to you. Best of WCW Nitro Volume 2. Best WCW Pay Per View Matches Volume 1. ECW Unreleased Volume 1. ECW Unreleased Volume 2. Best of WWF in Your House. Ladder Match 2 Crash and Burn. Money in the Bank Anthology. Falls Count Anywhere, King of the Ring, Attitude Era, Raw 100, Best of SmackDown and Raw 08, Best of SmackDown 09 in 2010, Best of Raw 2010, Best of Raw and SmackDown 2011, Best of Raw and SmackDown 2012, CM Punk Best in the World, Brock Lesnar Here Comes the Pain, Undertaker 20 know the streak Triple H that kingdom come Stone Cold best superstar of all time Epic journey of Dwayne the Rock Johnson Rock Cena once in a lifetime Bret Hart dungeon collection Sean and Brett greatest rivalries Shawn Michaels Mr. WrestleMania Mick Foley for all mankind You think you know me story of edge John Cena experience Randy Orton Evolution of a Predator, Goldberg Ultimate Collection, Warrior Ultimate Collection, RIP, Greatest Superstars of the 21st Century, OMG 50, yeah, OMG, Rivalries, Top 25 Rivalries, Greatest 50 uh, Finishing Moves, Legends of Mid-South, True Story WrestleMania, Greatest Pay-Per-View Matches of 09 to 010, 2011 Pay-Per-View Matches, Best 2012, sorry guys, cut me off. NWO The Revolution, WrestleMania 25, Royal Rumble 2010, WrestleMania 26, WrestleMania 27, WrestleMania 28, Royal Rumble 13, Elimination Chamber 13, WrestleMania 29, Payback 13, Money in the Bank 13, SummerSlam 13, oops, Best WCW War Games and Best WCW Clash Champions, which is my favorite release ever from WWE. That's all of them, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Love, peace, and hair grease. Sorry I had to rush through it, but my phone is about to explode. Woo!